guys. Once again, shout out to my boy from Little Mac and JTV for giving me this, these bars of soap. I want to try this one. This is the one that I'm going to try. I'm going to let you know how it feels, how it smells, and it's made here in the great US of A. How it smells. Oh, and these are the ingredients in the back if you guys want to pause the video. Oh, it actually comes from New York. Oh, that's what's up. Right across the bridge. And so, this is what it looks like. You see its weird shape. So, yeah, it looks like stones, like white and gray stones. But, yeah, I'll take a shower with it, let you know if it dried up my skin, if it lathered good and how it went, and I'll be right back. Hey, guys, I'm back. Just finished taking a shower. It does, this white stuff is grainy. It feels like sand when you're taking a shower. So, this is definitely an exfoliator. Um, it didn't leave my skin dry, but since I got sensitive skin, I cannot take a shower with this soap every day. I can't use exfoliators every day. They're not recommended by your dermatologist and by other YouTubers that review soap. But I can tell you great things. When you get out the shower, you do not smell like an old lady. Sorry, no disrespect, but you know, like old woman perfume. Let me rephrase that. I am sorry. I'm not saying it in a bad way wasn't intended in a bad way i'm just saying it smells like perfume that my mom would wear and she's 80 years old well she's 79 she's gonna be 80 so you know my mom is an older lady that's what i meant to say so when you get out the shower you do not smell like the soap it detis you know when you're taking a shower yeah but it dis it dissipates whatever however you say that word you guys don't just like that i even say words backwards sometimes so I use a towel to take a shower because I feel like it works better and you save soap when you do that. So yeah. So uh, the towel, even after I washed it off, it does did not smell like the soap anymore. So this soap does not stay on your skin. So if you're a person that loves exfoliators, I can still recommend the soap. This is it right here. I put my, older, my other soap bar in here, uh, but this soap is this bar right here don't want to get people confused this is another bar of soap that i'm not going to talk about right now but i put it in a box anyway and this is what it's called right here and, and it's so it's an exfoliator so if you're a man that loves exfoliators i could recommend this soap i mean you might not like this i mean just because i don't like the scent and my boy once again shout out to little mac and jtv he didn't like the scent doesn't mean you might not like the scent you know this scent might actually reach you you might like it you know but the only thing is it dissipates it leaves your body as soon as you get out the shower as soon as you finish raking it off rinsing it off yes it does make a lot of lather so that's a plus but the con to me is the smell and the way it leaves your body even though i wouldn't want it to stay but somebody else might want it to stay so you know it doesn't last long so what i'm trying to say is <coughs> it's a completely mild scent Unless later on when I'm laying down in the bed, I can still smell it, then I'll do a review and saying, yeah, you, you stay with the smell. But as it is right now, I can't smell it on my skin anymore. But yeah, so like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe to Little Mac and JTV. He's the one who provided this uh, soap, so I can review it in another bar from this company right here. So yeah, like, comment, subscribe. Subscribe to Little Mac and JTV, and I'll catch you guys in the next one. You all ready? Thank you for watching.